Is your life spiritual? Or to ask it a different way, are you leading a spiritual life? Do you know? And how do you know? These are some of the questions I want to explore today in this video. So while I'm talking about them, be sure to subscribe to this video and click the bell so you're notified of others. Are you physical? Do you have a body? Well, of course you have a body. Do you have feelings and emotions? Do you think and have a mind? Of course you have all of these different parts to yourself. Part of what makes you the person you are are all these different aspects and, and more than just the ones that I mentioned. I mean, you have your personality, you have your culture, and yes, you have spirituality. You have a spiritual aspect, a human spirit, a spiritual dimension of your life. All of these things come into play to make you the person you are. Where is that spiritual dimension? How do we recognize it? What's that about? Have you experienced awe at something or wonder or delight? That's all part of spirituality. You see, spirituality is that part of us, that aspect of us that enables us to find something more than just what's normally happening in life. You know, our lives are pretty much routine. We do the same things day after day. We get up in the morning, we go to work, we make dinner, we, maybe we do something in the evening or watch TV and then we go to bed and we do it over and over again. But there's something that happens in some moments that enable us to experience something much more, something greater, and that also takes those routines and makes those routines we do day in and out something valuable for us. That's where spirituality comes into play. And you know, we often don't recognize it, but we don't recognize other aspects of our life. You know, we don't think a lot about our bodies until we get sick or if we're deciding that we're going to do something to improve our body, like work out or diet. When we're either sick or working out or dieting, we become much more aware of our bodies than we normally are. And, you know, many of us don't think about our emotions, but try working on developing emotional intelligence and you'll become much more aware of your emotions. The same thing is true with the spiritual aspect of our life. It's there, but we don't really recognize it. We don't name it, but it's operative and we don't do much with it unless we really choose to, unless we pay attention to it. But it keeps popping up. It's part of our life. It's there. So yeah, think for a moment of when you've watched a sunset and you're standing looking at the sun and you see all the wonderful colors as the sun is setting and you feel a sense of peace, a sense of awe. It's like everything else around you has stopped. And that moment begins to transform for you. It's more than just the setting of the orb, but something is transformative in that moment for you. That sense of change in you is an indicator of spirituality. Or imagine holding a newborn infant or a very young infant and sensing that wonder of life in that little thing that seems so fragile. And as you're holding that baby, you have so many different feelings and, and encounters the mystery of life in a different way. Realizing how fragile human life is, that's part of spirituality. There are other indicators of spirituality in our lives. Think about those difficult times in your life. We've all had them. What's gotten you through? What do you hold on to in difficult times? Whenever you're facing things that are rough, what becomes important? What gives you hope? Hope is part of our spirit. And when we experience peace in our life, what are the things that bring you peace? Are there places associated with feeling peaceful? Those are also connections for the spiritual aspect, the spiritual dimension of our life. You see, it's there. And it's important for us to recognize that it's there because when we recognize it, we can help it grow and develop.
It's not about beliefs. It's about our experience. It's about how we experience life. And it's a part of our life that's integrated with every other aspect of our life because, you know, we are integrated beings. All of the pieces work together. Part of spiritual growth and development is growing in a way that integrates it well. So how do you recognize the spiritual dimension, the spiritual aspect of your life, how your spirit functions in your life? Well, take some time and reflect on the questions I raised today. And those will be some good indicators for you as a starting place. And how do you build on that? Well, one of the ways you can build on that is to subscribe to this channel because what my intention in Spirituality Beyond Borders is, is to help you develop and integrate, to grow fully, so that that spiritual dimension of your life gets integrated with the other dimensions. So yes, subscribe to this channel, click the bell, and I bet you have some friends who are also asking questions about spirituality. So share this video with them. Make some comments, ask me some questions. I'm happy to respond. And know that I really appreciate your interest and that you took time today to watch this video and spend time with me. Thanks. Have a really great day.